forward slash CBeebies and click on the Pinky Dinky Doo webpage. You can make things, you can colour things in. In fact, you can colour in the whole of Pinky Dinky Doo's family. In fact, here's Pinky Dinky Doo right now. Pinky tells a story! Pinky's got a story she wants to share with you. Pinky Dinky Doo, never at a loss for what she pulls out of the blue. Pinky Dinky Doo, her little brother Tyler and Mr. Guinea Pig. Pinky Dinky's always thinking big. Yes, a Rooney pass a toony zip zam zoom. Pinky Dinky Doo, in the great big city with all the Dinky Doos. Pinky makes up stories with fancy words too. She's always acting silly and you'll often hear her say... Now that's something you don't see every day. Little brother Tyler and Mr Guinea Pig. Pinky Dinky's always thinking big. Yes, a Rooney puzzle tuny zip zam zoom. Phew! <laughs> Pinky Dinky do. Polka dot pox. Uh, 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 achoo! Oh, Tyler, it sounds like you're getting a cold. Uh-huh. Are you going to miss your trip to the Museum of Really Old Things? Uh-huh. Oh, Tyler, you won't be able to see the dinosaurs. I know. I am so... <coughs> frustrated! <laughs> That's how you feel when you do get to do what you want. Frustrated? That gives me an idea. Piggy, are you going to make up a story? Yes, a Rooney posit toony. Yes, a Rooney posit toony. We're going to the story. So one evening in Great Big City... I was really excited because tomorrow was show and tell. <laughs> Yesterday, Nicholas Biscuit brought in his pet monkey, Professor Funky, who patted his head to the tune of Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> Bobby Boom showed off his pet goldfish, Hush Puppy, who did a triple flip. Daphne Toilette brought in her butler, Jenkins. No, he wasn't her pet. He was leading Daphne's pretty pet pink pony, Peaches. Peaches did a perky dance in a pair of purple pants. My pet is Mr Guinea Pig. I think he's cool, but was he cool enough for school? Then I had an idea. I would join his exercise wheel to the popcorn maker and he could make popcorn for the whole class. Wait a minute, Pinky. You can't join an exercise wheel to a popcorn maker just like that. Yes, you can, little brother. Anything can happen in a made-up story. What happens next? Let's see. Then I gave Mr Guinea Pig a bubblicious bubble bath so he would be nice and clean for show and tell. I brushed his fur 122 times. Hmm, fluffy. Then we went straight to sleep so the next day would come sooner. But the next morning... Oh no! I've got the polka dot box! What about show and tell? I ran off to show Mummy Dinky Doo who's doing yoga. Oh dear! When Mummy Dinky Doo saw my dots, did she tell me to... spin like a top so the dots would fly off? Too dizzy! Or did she tell me to cover the dots with mashed potato? No, we've run out of gravy. Or did she tell me to stay at home from school until I was well again? <gasps> that was it. And that was definitely not perfect. Don't worry, Pinky. Polka Dot Pox aren't too bad. 
You'll be all right in a couple of days. But I'll miss show and tell. Oh, I'm sorry, Pinky Dinky Doo. I'll go and make you some nice chicken doodle doo soup. Missing school was bad, but missing show and tell was bad times four. I was so frustrated. Then I had an idea. I would pretend to be someone else and sneak back to school. I went over to my wardrobe and found an eye patch, some fake hair and a hat. Who could I pretend to be? I could dress up like a pirate. Arr, perfect. Mummy and Daddy Dinky Doo will never recognise me. Arr. But Mummy and Daddy Dinky Doo knew they were bringing up a little girl and not a pirate. So they sent me back to bed to rest. Now I was really frustrated. I felt as stuck as a flower in a flower pot. That gives me an idea. Miss McStanza loves flowers. If I made myself look like a great big flower, I could get myself delivered to Miss McStanza at school. This card says, please deliver this flower to Miss McStanza. P.S. Do not think this flower is Pinky Dinky Doo. Mummy Dinky Doo will see this card and take me to my class. My, what a big flower! Oh, I'd better take this to Miss McStanza straight away. Everything was perfect, but then... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! Tyler started sneezing. Great big fake flowers made him sneeze. A lot! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! Achoo! Huh? He blew the petals right off my head. I was going nowhere except to my room. Next, I called the school to let them know that I had polka dot pox. A machine answered. Attention, this is Headmaster Fullstop speaking. Miss McStanza's class, please do not come to school today. Everybody has polka dot pox. That is all. My whole class has the same thing as I do? Now that's something you don't see every day. I'm so... frustrated! My friends won't see Mr Guinea Pig make popcorn. I know it would make them feel better if they could. Hmm... It looks like it's time for me to think big. If I have a problem, don't know which way to go, I think and think and think and think. And suddenly I know... Come on, Pink, think! Pinky, tidy yourself up when you finish thinking big. OK, Mum. Then it happened. I had a big idea. Whee! Whee! I knew just what to do. I'll invite my whole polka dotted class and their pets over for a polka dot party. It was fine with Mummy and Daddy Dinky Doo, so I emailed an invitation to the whole class. Before you could say, polka dot pox, everybody was crammed into my room. Nice dots. You too. <laughs> <laughs> then I joined Mr Guinea Pig's wheel to the popcorn maker. <laughs> Mr Guinea Pig ran and ran and ran and all of a sudden... It worked! Mr Guinea Pig made enough popcorn for everybody. Mm. Oh, look at that. I love popcorn! <laughs> and all of my friends yeah. thought Mr Guinea Pig was the coolest yeah. pet Great ever. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> More or less. The end. That was a great story, Pinky Dinky Doo. I feel much better. <laughs> Sounds like game time. Say cheese, please. Cheese, cheese please. <laughs> Let's play Who Is This? Who is this? Behind the 
yummy piece of Swiss cheese is a character from my made-up story. One by one, the cheese holes will pop up, showing us who's behind. Like this. And when we can see who it is, we shout out their name. That's right, Tyler. Let's play. Is it Daphne's Pretty Pet Pink Pony or Mr Guinea Pig? It's Mr Guinea Pig! Yes, it is! Hooray! All right, let's play a game called Which is the Right Pinky? Which is the Right Pinky? I'm going to show you four different pictures of me. Pinky. And we're going to pick the pinky that we saw in your made-up story. That's exactly right. Let's look. Fireman Pinky. Squirty. Polka Dot Pox Pinky. Dotty. Princess Pinky. Charmed, I'm sure. Football Pinky. Hut, hut, hut. <coughs> so... Which pinky was in the story that I made up today? Say no for the wrong pinky and yes for the right one. Ready? Was it Princess Pinky? No, there was no princess in your story today. Was it Football Pinky? No, you didn't play football in today's story. Was it Polka Dot Pox Pinky? Yes! You got Polka Dot Pox and had to stay at home and miss your and tell. You're right, little brother. Hooray! That's exactly what happened. I'm glad my story made you feel... Uh-oh! Huh, huh, uh -oh. It looks like it's my turn to make up a story to make you feel better. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Can you make up a story too? Thank you to Pinky Dinky Doo, thank you to Nina, thank you to Finley, thank you to Boogie Pete, thank you to Luna Jim, thank you for watching CBB's Big Fun Time. <coughs> oh, yeah, oh, okay, 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 calm down, of course. Thank you as well, BB Baby. It wouldn't be the same without you. Now, if, like me, at the end of Big Fun Time, you're feeling very, very tired, you are definitely in the right place because coming up soon is Chris and Boy for the bedtime hour. So that just leaves Bibatron and me to say good night. See you tomorrow for more Big Fun. <laughs> Looking for laughter? Ready to go! Then join your favorite Porky Pals for more animal adventures and really tall tales. We're going to be on the telly. Where? On Save Babies, of course. That's where we have to go if we want to be on the television. We're going to be a family. You hear that? Isn't it great? Wahoo! Get in! <laughs> oh, I want to be on the telly! Rock and roll. Jakers! Run for your lives! Weekdays at 5.15 on Save Babies. Can't get enough of CBeebies? Yeah. Then here's a new way to fire your little one's imagination with their favourite shows and more. Now on the radio. CBeebies on BBC Radio 7. Thinking Look what's happening, Chris. The sun's going down. Goodbye, son. Now that the day is done, it's gonna be night time soon. Goodbye, son. We'll have more fun tomorrow. Now it's time to say hello, moon. Goodbye, son. Hello, moon.
It's been such a busy day here at CBeebies. Have you had a busy day? There like that. And these can go in the drawer. There we are. That's better. Tidy up, tidy up. Put your things away. How's it going, boy? I've just had...